What's going on guys? It's Jamie and Logan the score, usually <laughs> up in my kitchen again. Today we are gonna show you guys keto brownies. Can you avocado even avocado stuff? Believe it. Yeah, avocados. Would you ever think? Let's get to it. Have you had avocado brownies? I've heard a lot about them, but I haven't had them yet. No, I looked at it and I was like, that looks good. I have a feeling they're gonna be really good, but here's one little no-no for me today. I can't keep them in my house. Oh. So we have to get rid of them. We have to like go bring them somewhere. Well, maybe we'll go find people to <laughs> give them to. Okay guys, here are the ingredients for today's um, brownies. We've got almond flour, baking powder, monk fruit, our wild foods cocoa powder, two avocados, also our wild foods cocoa nibs. These are the raw ones and coconut oil. Um, by the way, I will link these two below for you and I'm also gonna provide you guys with my code so you can get a discount, go to wildfoods.co and get those there. And also eggs. All right, so first things first, we are just gonna peel the avocados, get them in the bowl, and mash them up. We're putting in about, what, three ounces? So that's gonna be about 90. 90 grams of almond flour. You guys can measure that accordingly, but we're just mixing it up here with the avocado. We're gonna measure out about 105 grams of the cocoa nibs. Um, so guys, we're just gonna melt this down and make it liquid chocolate. This is raw cacao, these bad boys. Hey guys, so we are gonna add the rest of the ingredients in here. It calls for a fourth cup of monk fruit, which would be this much. I'm gonna opt for a third because we don't need that much. Okay, so we're gonna do uh, four tablespoons right here of the, uh, the cocoa powder. The wild foods cocoa powder. Delicious. Yum. Okay, now we're gonna do one teaspoon of the uh, baking powder right here. Okay, so we had a little bit of a, a bump in the road. Problemo. <laughs> The cocoa nibs don't necessarily melt down, so we're scratching those. Instead, we're just gonna simply use cocoa butter, butter because this is the base of chocolate anyways, and we already have cocoa powder recipe, so it works perfectly. Mm. It's a great alternative, and they're also delicious. So we're gonna melt these down. The same amount required, so three and a half ounces. I'm confident that this is gonna be better than what we had planned. Yeah, me too. So two eggs. And we're gonna mix all that up once the cocoa butter is done. Then we're gonna use um, we're gonna use this right here. So Jamie, what exactly is this? Oh, so this is just a silicone mat that I get on Amazon. I can link all these below. It's so easy and washable, and you just throw it right on there. And it's nonstick. Boom! That's it. Brownies will be done. All right, guys. We're gonna use this baking dish and put some parchment paper down and just put all this goodness right in the center. Look at that goodness. It came out it's pretty nice here. Got a little avocado showing. Nothing wrong with that. And we're gonna put in the oven for 350, 35 minutes. All right, guys, we are ready Whoa. for this. Look oh at that. my goodness. That, is, that looks perfect. It really does. Okay, guys, straight out of the oven, and we're ready to do some cutting. Oh boy, look at that. Real quick, we did use the, the cocoa butter, but we feel that you probably could use the dark chocolate and get a more thickness from it. Is that right? Yeah, and it might make it a little darker. Yeah, so, all right, let's just try it. Mmm. Look at that, that looks like cookie dough. That's the healthiest brownie I've ever had. Oh my gosh, okay, <laughs> that is actually, it's really good, it's a really good balance between the cocoa powder and mm. the avocado. I think it's a really good one. And this has really good fat, so it's a really good fat bomb sort of thing. Mm -hmm. But man. I'm just over here eating. <laughs> if you guys have tried this, or if you have not tried it, you definitely need to. And like I said, you can do the dark chocolate, you don't have mm. to do the dark chocolate, or you can do the cocoa powder, um, or the cocoa butter. But uh, it The problem is, I learned all these great recipes, and then I make them when no one's watching, and I literally eat all of them. She's like, yeah. It, oh, it, I didn't record it, dang it. It's becoming so easy. I, I mean, I made um, little like muffins the other day and I didn't look at any recipe. I just threw in coconut flour, flax meal, baking soda, eggs, all that stuff. And then voila, you have like amazingness. It's ready. Guys, thanks so much for hanging out. We hope you liked the avocado brownies. 
I'll be sure to link the products below. Use my code WILDJAMIE12 if you guys wanna buy those ingredients from Wild Foods. Thanks for coming, Logan. Give it a like, guys, if you guys absolutely would love to try those. Yes, give it a like, yes. and please subscribe below. We thank you so much for watching. Bye.